There's my fireplace tools. If you met Anita Necht, you wouldn't think her home just burned down in a chimney fire. But that's where the fire was coming out. Throughout our interview, she was as jubilant as ever. He said, what's your emergency? And I said, my house is on fire. He said, did you say fire? I said, fire! <laughs> After all, no one was hurt. I'm sad about it, but it's things, and we can replace what we need of it. She wanted to show us photos of the immaculate house, but her phone and computer burned with the rest of her possessions. Living room, my husband's office was right here. Two years ago, her family fought off the Rock House fires for 12 hours using buckets of water from the swimming pool. When they were carrying buckets of water to where it was worse. The house was on fire, the garage was on fire, this house was on fire. Tragedy has now struck twice this year for Anita. Her husband died in April, and now two days before Thanksgiving, the home they built is no more. He, I'm glad he wasn't here to see this. It would have hurt him too much. Thankfully, her son was spending the night. He noticed the house on fire and got her out. Now she plans to rebuild her home. I'm going to rebuild. It won't be anything near this nice, but it'll be good enough for me. A pine tree in the yard serves as her inspiration. It was completely burned in the Rock House fires and recently started sprouting needles again. It shows her that new beginnings can come from a pile of ashes.